Dear Bilawal Bhutto, I know you've just been schooled by the External Affairs Minister of India recently, but I guess you need another lesson or two. No, you're not the victim of terror. You're the victim of your own actions. We call it karma in India. Hillary Clinton used a better adage that you might probably understand. You cannot keep snakes in your backyard and expect them to only bite your neighbor. They will come for you. Unlike your nation, Bilawal, we have elections. We elect our prime minister. I know that concept sounds alien to you, that he's not a puppet of the army and the deep state. How would you know when none of your prime ministers in Pakistan ever get to complete a full term in office? You're probably unaware of the concept of a free and fair judiciary too. So you resort to stale propaganda and hackneyed expressions that have been rejected in the court of law and more importantly, by the court of the people. But frankly, who takes the certificates of that nation seriously, which labels Osama bin Laden a Shaheed and a martyr? 75 years later, Bilawal, you seem to suffer from an acute case of India phobia, Hindu phobia and Modi phobia. All of it together now, it's dangerous. But before the nation of Jinnah starts preaching Gandhi to us, do tell us what happened to the minorities of Pakistan? What is happening in Baluchistan? Maybe you should listen to the women in Baluchistan. And in POK, who is the worst violator of human rights? If you want to see Hitler's SS, take a deep hard look at what you did to the women and the people in East Pakistan, now liberated as Bangladesh. They were Muslims too, not just Hindus. Take a look at what you do to the Hindus of Pakistan. How many are left today? What do you continue to do to minor Hindu girls in Pakistan, to temples and gurdwaras in Pakistan? And before you speak about the Muslims of India, take a deep, hard look. Who is killing the Shias and the Aga Khanis in Pakistan? Who is the butcher of Baluchistan? Who is persecuting the Ahmadiyyas? Who is the butcher of the Uyghur Muslims? Who is putting them into Hitler-inspired hate camps? But alas, the biggest perpetrator of human rights is your biggest benefactor. So you won't have the courage to speak up. Finally, keep your dossier to yourself. All you need to do is close your eyes and imagine. When you talk about the CEOs of top global companies and leaders of free nations, you picture an Indian, a person of Indian origin, Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai, Rishi Sunak. And when you talk about the CEOs of top global terror outfits, it's always a person linked to Pakistan. Hafiz Saeed, Masood Azhar, Lakhvi. But every time I hear you, I'm thankful. I'm thankful as an Indian Muslim that when Jinnah decided to partition our nation, my family chose the right side. I'm glad that my nation is known for exporting vaccines and technology and yours is known for exporting terror and donkeys. My nation will host G20. Your nation hosted Osama bin Laden. Jai Hind.